wait a minute, wait a minute, Titch. Titch. Dave Powney lost his arm in an industrial accident two years ago. At home in Doncaster, he's grateful to the NHS for its replacement, but misses the sensation of touch. If you could get feeling, it would feel more real. So it wouldn't, you'd feel more comfortable in it. Um, obviously, you'd probably get more use out of it. It would be nice, because obviously from this, there's absolutely, it's just plastic. But that could soon change. A team of scientists has created a system of sensors and a sheet of electronics that connected together can, for the first time, produce a finely tuned virtual reality sense of touch. For amputees, a haptic interface on a robotic hand could capture the shape and texture of, for example, a cup. That sensation would be reproduced on the upper arm by the virtual reality device attached to the skin. The technology could also lead to a whole new dimension in video calls with users experiencing virtual reality touch. The technology uses a lightweight sheet of electronics in a soft laminate placed on the skin. Mechanical components vibrate to create the sense of touch. Globally, the virtual reality market is estimated to be worth £13 billion this year and is forecast to grow to 10 times that by 2023. The team behind this invention sees it as just the start. It really forces you to kind of reformulate electronics to be more biocompatible or skin compatible. So the uh, key unique features of the technology are that sort of soft skin compatible form factor uh, the very tiny miniaturized force actuator that, we, uh, that we've been able to develop. The growing use of virtual reality in industry and medicine to manufacturing and entertainment has until now relied primarily on sight and sound. The potential for a high quality sense of virtual reality touch would be a game changer. Gerard Tubb, Sky News.